Hey guys, Cece back with another video and in today's video we are going to be looking back at my January 2015 favorites and seeing if I still use those products. your first time watching me or my channel make sure you go ahead click the subscribe button click the notification bell follow me on Instagram and also follow my family vlog channel here on YouTube okay let's get into the notification gang shout out and then we'll get right into the video hey y'all so today's notification gang shout out goes to Yvette C. Stewart thank you so much for being a part of the hashtag notification gang and if you want a shout out comment hashtag notification gang down in the comments after you've clicked that bell and you may get a shout out in one of my next videos so I feel like this video is going to be super like talky so uh sorry in advance but I thought this video would be fun to do I was kind of just going back through all of my old videos looking through YouTube I have like almost 800 videos I think on YouTube and so I was going back and looking back and I came across my January 2015 favorites and I looked at it and I was like girl first of all it was so cringy to watch like the video quality just I had on like a blazer like I'm guessing I just came home from work and I sat down and filmed a video even though I feel like those were the good old YouTube days you know what I mean like everything now feels like some high quality cinematic production and not to say that you shouldn't want to get better but I feel like the whole reason people flock to YouTube or the reason I watch YouTube I don't watch YouTube for celebrities I don't want to see celebrities on YouTube I see you on TV I want to see like the regular person talk about why they love a foundation or why they love this or why they love that I don't want to see a celebrity on YouTube and so I feel like all everybody now like in order to play you have to have again this high quality production in a studio you know before it was some girl or guy sitting down in their bedroom in front of their bed and talking to you you know and so it just felt so much more real back then I feel like but whatever we're here now if you remember supporting me back in the day in 2015 when the lighting wasn't great when I was up in the attic when we were at two houses before this one if you remember that CC definitely comment that down below I'd love to know who has been here for that long like that is crazy insane so 2015 January favorites don't worry I will let you guys see some of the clips in the video <laughs> and how bad it looked but we're gonna go over those favorites and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about them today this is a perm rod I have been doing perm rod sets on my hair and I love the definition that it gives so the first thing I talked about were those perm rods yes I still have have those perm rods y'all they're way upstairs in my bathroom I'm downstairs y'all know I'm pregnant it's too hard to go upstairs okay so I love those perm rods just know that I haven't used them in a while because I don't know I try to leave this natural hair alone but they do give such a defined curl and so I love using them I have the gray color and the white color and they're pretty awesome so if you have natural hair I definitely recommend perm rotting your hair I have first off I can't remember if I mentioned this last month but this is the Ofra Cosmetics long lasting liquid lipstick in the color Brooklyn the Ofra liquid lipstick in Brooklyn you guys I literally just got rid of this liquid lipstick um, I think in my last lip declutter which was what a month or two ago so no I don't still have that but I did have it up until then it was such a pretty brown liquid lipstick that when I filmed that video was right around the time the Kylie lip kit started to come out and so she had that true brown K that everyone was trying to get their hands on. So Brooklyn was seriously like the best dupe for true brown K. So I loved that liquid lipstick. I had no idea it was five years old when I got rid of it. But uh, yeah, I'm so happy I got rid of it now. <laughs> Next, I have a lip combination that I'm actually wearing today that I've been dying over. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Iced Mocha. I have that all over my lips. And then in the center of my lips, I've been using Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. Gerard Cosmetics Iced Mocha Liquid Lipstick is another one that I had for a while. I think this one I actually got rid of sometime like early 2019 or late 2018 because I just wasn't wearing it 
it was such a pretty color but I just wasn't wearing the liquid lipstick so um, I went ahead and got rid of it so no I don't still have that apparently I was loving lip products in 2015 because um, the Stila Stay All Day and Patina first of all I love that formula I've told you guys that before I think that's one of the best lipstick liquid lipstick formulas on the market but no I do not still have that liquid lipstick so we're striking out over here we have a contour palette. This is the City Colors Contour Effects on the Go palette. For this product, I actually got rid of this. I wanna say I got rid of this in early 2019 or it could have been late 2018 as well. I just, this contour palette, I just wasn't using. I wanna say I bought it twice too. I think I bought it one time back then. I think it fell and it broke, so I went ahead and rebought it. And so the one that I got rid of, I don't think was that old. I just think I grew out of using it. And then to contour my face today, I used and I've been using the Bobbi Brown, this is the bronzing powder in Deep 4. Okay, here we go. Here's one. For this bronzer, this is the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in Deep 4. I talk to you guys about this a lot because this is like one of just my staple products. I've had this bronzer since then. Um, doesn't look bad. It still has pigment, still has color, but this is definitely my original Bobbi Brown bronzer that I keep. It has a little dent in it, but um, nothing too major. Like I could see the rings in the bottom of the pan, but it just has not hit pan yet. But I love this bronzer. I should have put it in my project pan, but um, maybe I'll do that like the second half of the year. I'll put it in my project pan and see how far we can get since it is pretty old, but I mean, it's still going strong. I still love this bronzer and I still recommend it. Keeping with cheeks, I have one blush here. This is the Wet n Wild Blush in Pearlescent Pink. Another one that I don't have, the Wet n Wild Blush in Pearlescent Pink. Pretty blush, first of all. I have, I think they have five blushes in that packaging and I have two of them. I got rid of the other two. There was a time when I had like the entire Wet n Wild line and it was probably back then um, during when I was shooting this video. I think I had the entire like Wet n Wild line from all the lipsticks, all the collections, all the eyeshadow palettes, but I since got rid of a lot of that stuff and so Pearlescent Pink was one that I got rid of because I think I had a blush that was really similar to that so I went ahead and let that one go but I do still have I think it's mellow wine and heather silk I think I do still have those two and then for a highlighter my favorite highlighter of the month I'm not wearing it today but my favorite highlighter of the month has been the Laura Geller highlighter in gilded no ballerina all right y'all we got another one this is the Laura Geller baked gelato swirl illuminator and ballerina this was actually in my project pan last year so this is definitely a product that I absolutely love such a good highlighter and I definitely still recommend it there was like ballerina and then there was gilded honey everybody was talking about gilded honey and I was actually more in love with ballerina so this is what it looks like and it's just super pretty it's like just the nicest champagne color and you guys I don't even remember it being that old there it is right there so cute but I can't believe it's five years old like I look back and I feel like time just flew by so fast like I don't remember buying this makeup so long ago but I guess I did because this is definitely my original but this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. The Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer was also in the video. That's another product that I don't have. I actually used it up last year or in 2018 and I just haven't repurchased it but I really do love that concealer I'm just trying to use up some other concealers that I have so I haven't repurchased it but such a nice creamy blendable lightweight concealer it's definitely one of my favorites to set that, I have been using the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Setting Powder. The Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. This is a setting powder that I actually bought twice and didn't even really love it. I don't know why I bought it twice. I bought it the first time back then. Did, like I used it for a little stint. I really liked it and then I, I don't know I just kind of put it down and then when I picked it back up I was like I don't really love this and I think that just has to do with your with your preferences changing I think that has to do with with me getting more experience with makeup and more experience with doing my own makeup and knowing what I like 
but I ended up repurchasing it because I started doing makeup like for people on the side and I had a lot of women that the powder just looked really good on so I did end up repurchasing it but um yeah for myself I just I really don't like that powder next product is the smashbox photo finish primer water y'all know we got this one okay we still have this the primer water this is probably my third or fourth bottle so this is not the original primer water from 2015 but i do love it i have this one and then i also have a scented one down there i think it's a cucumber scent and like i said i went through like three or four bottles of this stuff and um i really do like it to hydrate my face before makeup i still don't think it sets my makeup but i love it to just hydrate my face and just give myself a nice base before i go ahead and put on my foundation and everything else all right lastly we are going to move on to the eyes the first thing I have for the eyes is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette. The Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette I no longer have. That's one that I actually sold. Um, I sold that a while ago, a long time ago, probably like two or three years ago. I went ahead and sold that palette. I, I just never used it. It was a waste of, of, of space in my makeup collection and I just never used it. I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation love 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 this foundation the makeup forever ultra hd foundation was at one point in time one of my absolute favorite foundations over maybe the last year it just hasn't been hitting for me i did get rid of it i'm pretty sure i did yeah i did get rid of it i got rid of that i believe during my last foundation declutter that's one of those foundations i probably bought over like three times and i think i used one up and then i think i let the one get old and then i bought a mini and when i bought that mini i feel like i kind of knew my time with that foundation had run its course but i bought it anyway because it was like on sale and then I never used it and I think I just sold it or got rid of it. But um, that's definitely, it's a good foundation if your skin isn't as oily as mine. I just felt like my skin was too oily for it. I didn't love it for that purpose and it was just time to let it go. Last two products I have are my brow products. I have been using these in conjunction with each other all month once again this is the maybelline new york define a brow in medium brown i've shown you guys this a million times okay now this brow product is so bomb i don't have one here and i thought i did but i have so many brow products to get through so i just probably haven't bought it in a while but this brow product was a staple in my makeup collection forever and i mean this is probably the first point in time that i can remember that i don't have this in my collection it's just a super affordable brow product my only issue with it is that it doesn't have a spoolie on the end it has like one of those comb things but I really love that brow product I think it's totally worth the four or five dollars or whatever it costs and so if you're looking for a more economical brow pencil that is definitely one to look to I used those things up like every single empties you guys will see that Maybelline define a brow in the empties bag like like this video if you remember that so I'm definitely a true diehard fan when it comes to that. I just need to use up some of the brow products that I have before I hit, go ahead and purchase more. And then I've been on top of that using the Brow Bar to Go by Gerard Cosmetics. The last product is the Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to Go. This, I didn't realize, was so old. It's in the shade medium to ebony. And if you're like an old school YouTube watcher, then you remember this product and everyone's talking about it. Gerard Cosmetics was like super hot on YouTube for the longest. And then they just kind of fell off. I think they made some crazy remarks or some type of crazy remarks and people stopped messing with them but um yeah this had like two brow products and then it had a brow wax i really did love this but now i feel like for my health and safety i should probably get rid of it seeing as how you probably shouldn't keep a brow wax for five years so i want to go ahead and let this go right now but I will say, if you still shop with Gerard Cosmetics, um, definitely this was such a great brow product. It was a great brow powder. It blends it well. And I just remember really, really loving this. I haven't picked this up in forever, but I remember really enjoying this. 
So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little throwback to 2015. I definitely enjoyed watching that video and also enjoyed doing this one. So again, if you wanna see more videos like this where maybe I recreate some of my old videos, leave me some inspiration down below if you have a favorite video that I've done in the past. And if you guys wanna see the full 2015 favorites video, I'll also make sure that that video is linked in this video somewhere and also down below. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for all of your love. Thank you for all of your support. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.